Today, we're getting down to brain cleaning business, okay? No more surface level clean. We're deep cleaning it. What is it called when you do it to a car? We're detailing it. We're detailing it. And I have a toothbrush for you. I have, wait, where did I put those? I have, um, I used, literally use these when I clean my car. I wanna call them toothpicks. No, they're Q-tips. <clears throat> I have, I'm so excited about this. This is to scrub the absolute filth out of your brain. I use this um, in the shower. In the shower, I use this to scrub in my shampoo. Hair Scout Massage Shampoo Brush. That's what it does. But also, it does your brain. And it will. And it will. And obviously, oh yeah, I have a, um, <clears throat> a washcloth too. If we need to, we can ultimately pluck negativity and give it to... Oh, I didn't realize you could see me in the mirror. How slay. We can pluck it and give it to Fawcett or extremely famously give it to um, Supon. You know what I think we should start with? The... What was that noise? Toothbrush. Fawcett. Mm-mm. Was that an outdoor cat? There's a cat who lives in my neighborhood and I don't like him. I don't like him. And there's another outdoor cat in my neighborhood. I don't think he goes inside. I think he's somebody's like 100% outdoor cat. The one I don't like, he, um, he goes inside sometimes to the lady across the street. But the one that is outside all the time he's filthy and he's like he has Siamese markings and he has blue eyes and one of them is like hard crossed um I'm obsessed with him he will not come near me but he always poops in my yard and I'm gonna get down to brain cleaning business now sorry I got distracted thinking about um the things I care about the most cats yeah Let's do the other side. Are you ready? Supopotamus. Oh, she's laying on her back saying, where's my scrubs? <laughs> Does my microphone pick up faucet cleaning herself? She, one thing about her, she's absolutely obsessed with cleaning herself. Uh oh, if coupon doesn't get brushed. Do you want, <clears throat> do you want a little something something? Roll back over here, my angel. No? Yeah. <laughs> brain scrub, is there even a brain in there to scrub? We may never know. <clears throat> I saw this TikTok on, let's just go back to regular scratching. <clears throat> I saw this TikTok of this person who um, was autistic and their special interest is Dracula. Was autistic, they are autistic. Oh my God, Fawcett, ow. But it got me thinking about all the times in my life that I've missed a social cue or misinterpreted a facial expression or like taken months and months to realize that what I said was weird. And it made me think about this very funny example of that. In 2021, I had just started making videos of pot roast, right? Things were going amazing. And on one of my videos, someone commented and said like, you know that 
Autistic people sometimes have a special interest of cats. There's cat hair on my mouth as I tell you this story. And I was like, that's so cool for autistic people. That rocks for them. I love that for them. And literally just this year in 2023, it occurred to me that they were talking about me. That was directed at me and they were incredibly correct. There you go. Girls. Coupon, could you take a little bit of negativity? Wow. She even runs from what's in your brain. Okay, should we try to like, um, actually no, let's scrub. Let's scrub. Let's scrub your brain. I love this thing and it has like a little handle. What do you think my angel? I saw someone on TikTok do like a um, spooky spa video for Halloween, but they had like like a bottle of dust with like a like a skull on it. Where do people get these props? Because that's amazing. Do you want a little scrub? Okay. I wish I could. No. This should be massaging your brain at the same time as cleaning it. Do you feel better? Okay. We'll just like, Fawcett hates it when I do this, but I feel like we should just do like a little, just a damp little wipe. So don't make it a big deal. That's it, it's done. And I, by the way, I think you would love a damp little wipe. I do think that. I'll damp wipe you after this. I will, I'll do it. Okay, so this is why all my washcloths are um, done and tore up. I was talking to my brother on the phone, and my brother is very famously, I feel like I've said this before, a wildlife biologist. What's happening? What's going on? Okay, and I feel like, oh, that's cool. And you know when it's your sibling, so you're like, is it cool? Anyways, he, we were talking about deer and he doesn't watch my videos, but I know if he saw this, he would be like, you have to, you have to specify, you can't just say we were talking about deer. So we were talking about white-tailed deer, North American white-tailed deer, specifically, no, that's specific enough. He said they're an edge species. 
Um, and I'm going to relay what the gist of his, what he said, like what I took from what he said, because I barely listen to him on a good day. So when we're talking about deer, I'm not listening. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, I'll keep scratching as I do this. He was like, yeah, you know, they live at like, uh, the edge in between a forest and a field in between two different types of vegetation, like, um, and like big types of like forest to field. Do you know what I mean? You get it. And once again, barely listened. So that's the only example I heard. But sometimes when I watch Fawcett, I'm like, that is an edge species. Where the floor meets the baseboard, yeah. Where the table meets the wall, yeah. You're going to find her there. Anywhere I set up the baby gate, she's going to lay there. And I think that's why she's so obsessed with the closet. It's because she is, at the end of the day, an edge species, you know? She's part deer. I mean, they're similar colors, right? Her tail is not white, though. Anyways, I wanted to tell you, give you that short, um, you can't really call it a lesson because, I mean, I could in the, you could in the loosest sense, I guess all kinds of people who don't know anything call themselves teachers, so, but I told my observation to my brother, I was like, yeah, I think Fawcett might be an edge species and uh he was like you know what actually that's an amazing observation of your animal that's if you knew him that's such a, a good impression of his voice should we a little more hey there's cat hair on it now but i think you'll be okay well for, i think if we're honest with ourselves there was cat hair on it to begin with you know comes the supinator soup.com that's my neighbor the one with the rabbits whose grandma said <laughs> that coupon was fat okay go back to regular scratches where did I put the dang Q-tips? Hmm. Fawcett has recently, I th I'm pretty sure it's Fawcett. I don't think Coupon would find it. Like I think she makes Fawcett do her bidding so I don't think she would do it herself but Fawcett has learned how to jump up on the counters. I put um, aluminum foil on the counters. Coupon's trying to get out the window to like scare them when they jump up there. It worked at first, but I'm still like, when I open my door in the morning and go into the kitchen, I'm still like finding stuff on the floor that was on the counter. So I don't think it's working. So if you have any solutions, let me know. Soup. Can you come here? I want to feed you a little negativity, soupin. Soupin roopin. Um, if you were going to ask me where I got this bed frame. I got it from my mom who got it from someone else in our family and she doesn't ultimately know where we got it. I'm sorry, but every time someone asks, I'm like, I have to disappoint you. Someone on my Patreon sent me a message that was like, it literally keeps me up at night. Like a what was Fawcett's birthday cake made out of? What was it? What was the pink stuff? And I was like, I'm going to 
disappoint you on an emotional, spiritual, every level and tell you that it was not edible. It was, um, I don't know what it's called. What the, what's that like green styrofoam that's sometimes used for flowers and stuff? It was that covered in pink human fondant. The only thing she could eat was the tuna off the top. And she wasn't even interested in that. The person said, thank you. I will be sleeping well tonight knowing what I know now. Girls. I'm not going to use it on your brain after that. I mean, I might forget about it and like, see, I almost just tossed my hair with it. Wait, is she here? Can you see her? If you eat my hair, I'm going to do nothing but negativity for soup. say words like ASMR people say words you know when they say a word so many times that it like has like extra syllables like how do they go Pluck. Bing. Pluck. Bing. Pluck. Bing. I uh, oh my gosh, you know what I've never told anyone? My, I like have pain on the side of my body, right? I think I've said that in a video before, but um, like chronic pain. And so I've been to, you know, two different neurologists about it. And the first neurologist I saw, neither one of them helped me, by the way. The first neurologist I saw was like a young guy who like did all the testing, like like the very famous ASMR cranial nerve exam. And tell me why I brought up ASMR during it. I was like, this would be really good ASMR. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, sometimes on the internet, people role play cranial nerve exams for other people and they do it in an asmr -y way. He said, really? I said, yeah, and actually you would be good at it because this is a real cranial nerve exam. He didn't say anything. Like, he just continued his exam. He would be good at it, though. I stand by that. Double scratches. Oh, not the finger. Not my finger. The book I was talking about last time. Um, there was 700 pages and I got, look at me, look at me, stopped reading at page um, 451. I was at 64%, I think. I could feel something bad was coming and I was like, I can't do this. So I went to the world's worst website, goodreads.com. And I started reading all the reviews that contained spoilers. Um, and they were like, oh yeah, around 63%, the book really goes downhill and it starts to become like really almost senseless kind of like violence and horrible graphic to pictures against of violence against you know women and babies so I'm really glad I stopped reading did I say the name of it it's called the last hour of gone um I cannot I cannot not recommend it enough unless you're going to stop reading at 63 percent and even before that you got to be prepared for some triggering stuff anyways what am I reading now oh I'm reading um a soul to keep. I talk about books more on my Patreon. 
Also, these videos are ad-free on my Patreon. Baby. Silly shit. Hmm. I think it's ultimately time to gather the Q-tips. Oh my gosh, does anyone remember from two springs ago the actual Q-tips? I'll put a picture of what they look like now. Look at this. Time comes for us all. Does it not? You look almost kind of creepy in this, in this lighting. So we sit with your eyes. Hmm. How should we go about this? Hmm. What are those, um, like the, the cracks in your brain, like the folds in your brain? I'm sticking that in there, even though that would be kind of what critics and fans like would call an instant death or instant damage, I have to imagine. Hmm. I don't know if I'm really doing anything with that. Maybe I should go back to um, a damp cloth. I don't know. You know what? Mm-hmm. I don't want to scare her. It's over. It's done. It's gone. Gone like the wind. I showed my brother ASMR one time. We're sitting at a table eating um, beef barbacoa, I think. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I really love ASMR. And you know how some ASMR people put their uh, ASMR on Spotify? I pulled up Restful Rambles on Spotify. <laughs> I don't even remember what I played. It was something not even that, it wasn't like a role play or anything, but she didn't even make any noise. She just started out the video whispering and he like, he was like, oh, I hate that. He acted like, he acted how like brothers do. The worst. Mm Current soup. Oh, they hear the um, it's the male lady. Okay, ready? We'll skip, scop, scoop. 
Off your shoulder a little bit more. Down your arm. Toss it. So could you eat a couple more bites of negativity? Maybe sauce could? Soupy. Bing! I gotta do quieter bangs. Well, you know what? Um, Rocco's birthday is the 18th, and I'm, I like sort of made birthday content for YouTube for um, Fawcett and Coupon's first birthdays in February and um, April, respectively. But I was thinking, like, what kind of content could I make for Rocco's 18th birthday? Um, yes, YouTube content. So if anyone has any ideas, I think for faucets, no, that was for coupons. Coupons, I think I did setting up the party. What did I do for faucets? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't plan ahead, you know? That's me trying to reprogram your brain. Did it do it? Did you try turning it off and turning it back on? My, um, my like views have gone up since I got this camera and the new microphone. And so I just wanted to say thank you because I'm very excited. I like making YouTube content. It used to be like, I didn't so much, but now I do. I like the um, the community on YouTube. It feels different from Instagram and TikTok. Not that they're all not lovely in their own ways, but I'm enjoying the YouTube one, you know? You know what I just remembered about what my brother said about deer, white-tailed deer being edge species? I think it came up because we were talking about how deers around here, deer around here are always getting um, hit by cars. And he was saying like, because around here, a lot of the places that deers come from, it's like um, forest next to an edge that's not even necessary the necessarily the road it's more like the section off the road that they mow and so the deers come to like that edge and then they end up getting hit by cars once again i think that's what he said because i never really listened to him using natural light all the time is when it changes it's not always good
mirrored. Are you purring, Suey Sut? Can you purr into the mic? Sus Queen. What about, hear me out, hear me out. What about if for the month of Halloween they had different names? Like, wait, what? Like Creepy Crawly and, what could be a third C? Haunting, horrifying, hallucinating? They'd have to all start with the same letter. I don't know, I'll keep brainstorming on it. Luckily we have till the 31st. Well, no, if you... Mm -hmm. I said for the month of October, not for Halloween. I find the month of October to be very promising. You know, like I just think October is the part of the, is the start of the best part of the year. Very interesting and different take from everyone else, I know. But I don't necessarily like the holidays, but I do like when it gets colder and the leaves change and animals go um, to hibernate. You know, I myself go to hibernate as well. I do. Coupons, you can't see it. Her, you know, cats get winter coats or like long and medium hair cats. Her like neck fluff has come in so... Here's another picture I can show you of her being like swallowed by her neck fluff. I haven't noticed faucets come in so much, but Fawcett has much thinner hair than Kuban anyways. Bing! Wow, not even a look over. I wish your ear hair got a winter coat. Here he comes. Come on, handsome. Ma, if your name is Rocco and you sock, oh, sock your sock, Rocco. Do you want to be up here? I love that greasy old man fur. It's the bet. There are stairs there. He's not just jumping off. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's looking forward to turning 18. He really is. That noise is my stool. My stool is old. Everything in here is old. The youngest thing in here, this camera. Second youngest thing, faucet and coupon. go get cat litter. Dang it. You know how, well, I think this can be true or not true depending on your cats, but it's recommended. Some people recommend that you have a separate litter box for each cat. And so I had three litter boxes for like the longest time, but they all, three of them, kept climbing in and using the same one. So I bought like this huge enormous litter box um it almost looks like like a kid's like where kids play with sand a sandbox 
every time I remember a word, I'm like, I'm such a genius. Hey. Bing. Can you hear Fawcett's heavy breathing? Can you hear my neighbor cat calling her cat muffins? Muffins <laughs> is so badly behaved and I'm obsessed with her. She doesn't like other animals. And so I can only imagine the way that she treats the bunnies that live there. One really cute thing my neighbor did do was um, take like a photo shoot of her bunnies in Easter baskets for Easter. It was very cute. It's nice to live next to crazy women, you know? We'll give you one last damp swipe. And then we'll... Rocco's standing there jonesing for his second wet food portion of the day. And it's only 1146. I'm, I briefly felt better from my pillow cube. I don't feel better anymore. I'm bummed out, especially because it was like $70. And I like, you know, got on the website and it was like, you know, your pillow cube is trying to straighten you out, but now your mattress is sagging and you need our mattress probably as well too. And I'm like, I love late stage capitalism, actually. I'm having like an amazing time. Spot clean. want to be so butt clean? <laughs> Coupon. I tried new settings on my microphone. I changed the, um, there's like a gain assist feature. Uh, so I changed that setting. So let me know if it's good. She's really yelling for muffins so loudly. I kind of hope you can hear it. But let me know if you like the sound. Okay, thank you for joining. I think your brain looks sparkling, clean, gorgeous, stunning. Um, what's that word? Sanitary. I think it looks clean enough to um, eat off of, you know? Anyways, thank you for coming here. We literally love you. Have an amazing week.
Have an amazing October or whatever month you're watching this. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.